Okay. Any questions like uh, before uh, we proceed? So we were discussing about reversal documents, right? Uh, we are discussing about individual reversal, mass reversal, reversal of reversal, and cleared item reversals, right? Any questions on this? Yes, no? No, I mean. Okay. So we have completed this. We marked it right in our Excel sheet. Write down, put a heading as an accrual deferral reversal. Accrual deferral reversal. Do you know what is accruals and deferrals? What is accruals and deferrals? Write down. Accruals means, write down accruals. Accruals means accruals. Yes. Accruals means the expenditure. The expenditure or incomes belongs to incomes belongs to current month income belongs to current month but paying or receiving in but paying or receiving in next month but paying or receiving in next month Paying or receiving in next month. Okay. Next one. A referrals means. Deferrals means. Deferral means. Deferrals means. Expenditure or incomes belongs to next month. Expenditure or incomes belongs to next month, but but paying or receiving in but paying or receiving in current month, but but paying or receiving in current month. Understood? What does it mean? Approvals and deferrals. Yes, sir. See, nothing but what is accruals? I'll, I'll give in other words. Accruals. Accruals in the sense outstanding expenses or incomes to be received. Incomes to be received for the current month. For both. Incomes to be received. Outstanding expenses. So means this monthicular rent we need to pay. But we are not paying. We are paying in next month. The income commission we need to receive in this month. But we are not receiving. But we are going to receive in next month. Then it is considered as an accruals. Accruals. Current month. If we are not receiving current amount, we are going to receive in future, not next one, in future. Okay. Then that is considered as a means outstanding expense in the sense we have not, we are supposed to pay in this month, but we have not paid. We are going to pay in future months or next month. It could be other month or it could be another month. Okay. That is called accruals. Then what is deferral? Deferral or we call it as an unaccrued of prepaid for exp prepaid expenses for prepaid we call it a expenses we call it as a prepaid and for incomes we call it as an okay unaccrued incomes unaccrued expenditure or unaccrued exp incomes okay unaccrued incomes are unaccrued expenses Okay, or income to be received, or income received in advance. Sorry, not income to be received, 
इनकम रिसीव इन एडवांस ओके देन दैट इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ डेफर अंडरस्टूड एनी क्वेश्चन नो नवीन what okay if you don't have uh, no questions then what is the thumb rule of our financial statement or pro trading profit and loss account what is the thumb rule of trading if you prepare trading account trading profit and loss account what is the thumb rule yes what is the thumb rule of trading profit and loss account what we have learned you people are in ap i believe that what is the thumb rule if you know yes sir yeah yeah daikar you were saying something accruals we will take it as a Bad debts like that. I didn't get you. Can you please come again? So accrual amount we will be taking as a bad debts. No, no, that is different. Bad debts are something different again. That is absolute. That is a different concept. That's absolutely different concept. See here, what is the, the what is the? It's not a bad debt. The bad debts will come under a debtors concept. Your accounts payable. Will come under a data sorry creditor concept, but here what is the thumb rule of profit and loss account is trading profit and loss account is Spandana any guess from you Spandana first make it out your mic clear sort it out and ask if possible. Whether Prasad is going to join or not? Okay, I'll explain because these are the important concept. So we need to remember in accounting what is the rule of trading profit and loss account. What is accounting concept? What is accounting standard says is, for example, current month expenses. Current month expenses. this is very important to remember if you want you can write it current month expenses whether be paid or not in current month whether we paid it or not we paid it or not in current month okay but still but still we need to show but still we need to show in relevant in trading or pnl account what does it mean so rent for august month or july month we have not paid or it's current month or current year don't take it as in current month take it as in current year so we need to pay some insurance or rent okay then we have not yet paid but that expenditure we will record in the books of accounts but even though we not paid we need to pay we are supposed to pay right in future okay whether you paid it or not then what you will do you have to pay you will show in the books of account mandatory for example rent of 2022 rent rent 2020 2022 related year is 2022 outstanding means still to pay still to pay outstanding rent so in the books of 2022 in the books of 2022 in the pnl account in the pl account we have not paid outstanding in the sense so but still what we will do we will show on the debit side as to rent to rent for example some 50000 we have not paid but still we need to show in the books of accounts okay and how the what would be the effect did we paid this particular amount did we paid yes or no 
no no right so what is the second effect in the balance sheet in the balance sheet in the balance sheet the second effect would be on the liability side we will show it as a liability current liability outstanding rent of 50000 understood two effects when we don't we we have not yet paid the rent of last year or current year then first effect will be show, whether we paid it or not it need to be shown in the books of accounts so two rent and we have not paid that's the reason we are showing in the balance sheet under liability set under current liability as an outstanding rent clear if you paid okay then it will not affect in our balance sheet because we are not liable to pay we are already paid okay same time what is the thumb rule of current uh, this one prepaid or uh, prepaid expenses so next year okay what do you mean by prepaid or unaccrued income prepaid expense prepaid expenses or unaccrued incomes what does it mean means next year expense next year or next month expense next year or next month expense if you are doing accounting monthly wise then next month if you are doing year wise then next year next year or next month expense we paid in advance we paid in advance or okay or next year income paid in advance paid in advance in current month current year in current year or current month clear okay current year or current month or next year income we received we received in next year income we received in current year or current month understood this is called prepaid expense then it is considered as an unaccrued income or income received in advance so what what is our thumb rule what is our thumb rule of trading what is thumb rule of books of accounts is whatever account you are preparing in that we need to take only current month or current year expenses and current year incomes only we are not supposed to take we are not supposed to take next month income or next month expenses expenses or next year paid expenses understood whatever prepaid whatever unaccrued incomes are mentioned in our trial balance we are not supposed to take in our account pnl account so what does it mean what we are going to do for example i'll tell you this is my trial balance this is my trial balance so in my trial balance they have mentioned they have mentioned see again this is a this not required to do our practical part this is not required Di directly i can straight away i can start this is a configuration we need to post it okay but again why i am retreading without having a knowledge of this if you do this particular step then you won't gain any sort of benefit any sort of benefit you won't get it you don't know the meaning of accruals you don't know the uh, deferral meaning and you don't know the the accounting treatment you can configure and you can post it as an end user not an issue but whenever if you don't know the if you don't know the conceptual part this conceptual part then definitely whatever configuration you are doing in this particular course it's fine no problem but once you stepped out as a consultant then you will face a challenge so that's the reason i'm requesting you don't rush to complete the things rush to give the concept rush me to give the concept completion we can do it with a, with with the skipping part we can complete everything okay so again trial balance how they will mention is rent 
they have mentioned it as an in trial balance 75000 okay on debit balance next one uh, commission received commission received what is trial balance what is trial balance hello what is trial balance yeah closing balance sorry closing balance of general ledger no no it's not a closing balance it's a trial balance in the sense what do you mean by trial balance why we need to prepare a trial balance what is the need to prepare a trial balance so do we have a, a, a trial balance in our accounting cycle without preparation of trial balance can't we do a final accounts so normally what is accounting cycle what is an accounting cycle what is an accounting cycle what is an accounting cycle so what does it mean accounting cycle normally journal ledger trial balance Sorry? balance journal ledgers journal ledgers trial balance trial balance balance sheet final accounts not balance sheet yeah final accounts okay so here yeah, without journals we can't do ledgers correct but without having a trial balance can't we do our final accounts it's not mandatory trial balance is not mandatory without doing trial balance also after ledgers we can do final accounts but what is the need of trial balance why we prepare a trial balance why every business will prepare a trial balance without preparation of trial balance also we can prepare our final accounts these are the mandatory things journals ledgers final accounts why we need to prepare a trial balance what is trial balance what is the need of trial balance what we are going to get from trial balance to know the day to day expenses and income that we will come in the journal and ledgers right if what is final accounts it consists of your trading profit and loss account and balance sheet with profit and loss account i'll come to know what is my net profit or net loss and with the balance sheet i'll come to know what is my position business position of the business okay with the journals i'll record day to day transactions with the ledgers what i'll do whatever my each and individual account status nature of account status but what i'll come to know in my trial balance it is from monthly sorry monthly i didn't get you what do you mean by monthly normally it will be prepared at the year end only trial balance but what i am going to get from this trial balance why the businesses are it's not mandatory as per your accounting standards trial balance is a not a mandatory thing without trial balance also you can do journals ledgers and final accounts it's not a mandatory step to do it but 100% 100% businesses will do <coughs> i'm sorry trial balance but what is the need of trial balance why we prepare trial balance okay we'll come to know we'll see that okay commission received commission received it's nothing but an income correct on the credit side of trial balance it is showing 1 lakh okay so here there is some adjustments will be created so again why adjustments will occur that is also important we need to know we will discuss later all those stuff so in the adjustments they mentioned that rent 5 uh, sorry 10000 rent belongs to uh, 
rent outstanding outstanding rent outstanding rent 25000 okay so again one more expenditure i'll write it as an insurance 30000 okay so here adjustments they have mentioned outstanding rent which means that i'll explain this okay next one it's a commission not omission commission okay outstanding rent 20000 commission unaccrued commission or commission received in advance commission received in advance commission received in advance 40000 next one prepaid insurance prepaid insurance 10000 okay so what do you understand by looking at this trial balance yes what do you understand by looking at this particular trial balance quick 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 hello able to hear me yes navin yeah please let me know what what does this trial balance indicates by looking at that you are from accounting background students you are having a end user experience clear then what do you understand by looking at this particular trial balance tayakar even we are including all the adjustment i didn't get you no adjustment what understood what you don't go with this but what what does it mean rent and what is the relation between this outstanding rent and this 75000 rent what you will do how much rent we paid already 75000 okay so what does it mean in this particular year the total rent is 1 lakh out of 1 lakh we have already paid how much 75 how much still we need to pay 25 so that is shown as an adjustment outstanding rent so now what is the rule thumb rule of your accounting the expenses related to current year whether we paid it or not what we have to do we need to show in the books of accounts right yeah that is the thumb rule don't forget that okay what is the thumb rule of this one expenditure related items whether it is related to current year the expenditure related to current year whether we paid it or not we need to show in the books of accounts we need to show in the books of accounts means in the pnl account how we are going to show in the pnl account how we are going to show for example i'll take in the next page okay in the pnl account how we are going to show on the debit side to rent what a how much we have paid 75000 75000 but how much still to pay 25 we have not yet paid this but still what is the thumb rule of account whether we paid it or not we have supposed to show in the account so yeah. what we are going to do add we need to add this add outstanding rent add outstanding rent add add outstanding rent 25000 is it 25000 yes so 25000 and what is the total rent now 1 lakh 1 lakh 
so here it will show it as a one lakh okay next one what is the next one in uh, sorry commission received how much commission we received one lakh ba one lakh so we have already received one lakh okay what is adjustment is saying commission received in advance so what does it mean what do you understand by prepaid not paid received prepaid is sorry prepaid i'm saying it's not prepaid right we are not paying it we are receiving it are we paying this it's an no. income to us right income we will receive not we won't pay we'll pay only okay. expenses so commission received how much we received 1 lakh what do you understand by this concept commission received in advance and commission received yes see here what does it mean for the current year commission already how much we have received already how much we have received 1 lakh 1 lakh but unfortunately the come in this 1 lakh the commission is including of next year next year commission is inclusive in this 1 lakh that is nothing but how much next year commission is included in 1 lakh 40000 40000 and what is the thumb rule we need to show only current year current yeah. year expenses or income then what yeah. is the current year commission 60000 60000 then what we need to do this 40000 what we have to do in accounting treatment subtract we need to subtract so here we will write it as an by commission in inner column we will take 1 lakh okay the next less commission received in advance 40000 40000 okay what is the total current year expense current year income 60000 60000 okay next one what what do you understand by this insurance what is insurance what do you understand by this quick 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 now you understood right commission this is in the same way you can understand this insurance also what do you understand by this insurance how much insurance we have paid 30000 30000 so how much prepaid insurance is prepaid insurance in the sense what does it mean paid paying in advance. in advance paid in advance means next year insurance we are paying in this in advance so in yeah. this 30000 10000 is inclusive of next year then what is the thumb rule what is the thumb rule you have to decrease the value means only current year we need to show what is the current year insurance 30 30, 30. 30 sorry 20 20 correct so current year insurance is 20000 so current year insurance is 20000 two insurance two insurance 30000 so this 30000 the total 30000 is not related to current year in out of this we have a 10000 of next year so what we need to do we need to deduct that so that is nothing but less less prepaid insurance i'm writing in short form so how much it is 10000 right so what is the current year related how much we need to take in our account 20000 is this clear any questions yes or no please don't give much gap yes or no i am asking simple question yes sir 
right? And how it will be affected in our balance sheet? How it's going to affect in our statement? Outstanding rent means still to pay. So it will show under liability side. You need to learn a lot of accounting actually. Outstanding rent will come under assets. Asset. You need to pay. You need to still to pay. Liability. It's a liability, current liability. Yeah. Outstanding rent. We are liable to pay. So how much is outstanding rent? 25,000. Okay. Next one. Commission received in advance. Is it an ad uh, liability or an uh, asset? Permission received in advance. Asset. You took advance salary from your company and you left the organization. Liability. What you will do? What you have to do? Understood, Spandana? What is my question? Yeah. You took an advance salary of next year. Okay. But unfortunately, you left the organization in this month only. So what do you have to do? Will company leave you? No. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? You took an advance, salary advance. You need to repay back to them or you will keep it with you only. We need to repay. Repay back. So that is nothing but commission received in advance is nothing but next year commission we received in advance. So if we want to give services, then we need to repay back or we need to keep it with us. Repay back. We need to, so is it something which we need to repay back? Is it an asset or a liability? Liability. Then, so commission received in advance is nothing but 40,000 liability. Okay. Next one, prepaid insurance. Next year expenses you are paying in advance. So what you have done is you took a building a rent and you paid three months advance. Three months advance to owner. Okay. Then after payment of advance, you stayed only for one month and you vacated that particular house. So how much rent advance you have paid out of three months, one month already you stayed in that particular building, but how much rent advance is there with the owner? Two months, two months. What he has to do if you are, he, need, he need to return who need to return owner owner. So something which we need to get back, then it yes. is it an asset or a liability asset. That's it on the current asset. So here we will call it as a prepaid insurance. How much is the prepaid? 10,000. 10,000. So this is your accrual and an accrual, deferral and accrual. How in the back end it will work. But again, I'm reiterating before understanding SAP, we need to have a knowledge on this. Without having knowledge on this, again, I'm reiterating, we can't move forward. Okay, configuration part, I'll complete from my end. ASAP as soon as possible by hook or crook. But what if, because you're not going for end user job, right? You are going for a consultant job. You need to know at least as I said that 10, 15% because we are working since long period as an end users. Our job is not only a punching invoices, Accounting treatment, we need to know. So that's the reason I'm requesting you one more thing. Whenever we have a gaps, whenever we have a gaps in classes, dedicatedly spend time for your practice. The previous batches also, I told the same thing. One time practice or two time practice is not enough. And blindly, if I directly, if I configure this thing, 
if i blindly configure accrual and deferral definitely you will understand the configuration part but in the back end what it is happening what is trial balance what how it is going affected then you won't understand that at all in lifetime because we are not going to do any academics here right we are already learned that in our 5 years of accounting or 7 years of accounting because these are the basics actually to be frank so it's a my humble request see practice it doesn't mean that it's not a data entry work only the configuration what i have shown okay don't take it as a gyan a uh, session so just i'm telling you if you do one time or two times it's not at all sufficient minimum 25 to 30 times you have to do it so if the same thing what i was expecting from you is don't follow blindly my configuration steps don't follow blindly configuration steps because if you follow blindly then this recording and this particular material is enough for you because i'll say this okay post accrual entry two part two types two methods or two step activity so you can do this configuration you post it one entry and after that do referral activity or accrual activity that's it you will do it but what you are doing you are doing a data entry job you are not analyzing what is happening if you are not analyzing then you are not a correct consultant you are not going to be a correct consultant so when it is possible when it when i say people are you people practicing people says yes people says yes but that is the reason i always ask is it clear is it clear is it clear any questions any questions any questions what is the intention of asking these many times is i know you people will understand whatever configuration i am saying but what is my main intention to ask that is understanding a layman a 10th class student also understand this is a configuration step in sap you need to do like this by looking at the recording he'll do it but what makes a difference between you and them again you are going to do the end user activities only now so when you are going to get this in the sense along with me parallelly you are practicing not one or two if you are practicing number of times i'll say 20 times you need to practice then your analyzing skills will be get increased not one or two times whenever i ask the people they'll say that yes we are practicing it but if people are practicing definitely i'll get more and more questions in the class definitely more and more questions but here what happens is no one will ask the questions no one not only from you are you are attending only two people for other batches i'm having in each and every batch i'll have 15 to 20 students out of 20 different no one will ask no one will ask so that makes a difference between a engineering student and a commerce student engineering student normally they won't accept anything understanding their uh, this particular background things but normally what we do whatever it be show we will follow that blindly so why i am saying this in the sense normally you people see whatever don't take me wrong at all again i am reiterating clear what you people think is if we complete everything in on time then it is enough for us but what is the benefit if i complete see the accrual deferral it's very simple in configuration but in the background there is a lot of things will background lot of things happens right on the same thing if you are working as an end user what you are you are receiving a invoice you are punching it and rest of the thing system will take care of it so what is the difference you are making as an end user and attending this particular classes what is the difference you are making it see again i don't want to go like an amir pet amir pet they will do it in the same way this is itself we need to follow this is a configuration step you need to get it you will say if you get an error at the practice time then you will come back we are getting this error but you never come back what is the subject in the background it is doing as a consultant what is the difference between an end user and a consultant end user will not analyze anything but consultant as a consultant we need to analyze we are not applying any logic or any this programming language or something but at least we need to op open our thinking caps that is the reason every day first 5 minutes i'll ask any questions any questions even though you people won't reply back but still i'll ask same time after each and every step i know you people are enough matured 
if i dictate something you will write it and you will understand that step but still i'll ask why because every step there is a background logic not logic analysis should be there from year end if you don't have analytical this thing then definitely we are not going to get success again i'm telling you if i complete in 3 months end to end if you are not analyzing it then 100% you are not going to be a consultant the day when i made it very clear the day when i made it very clear if i complete everything i can complete everything in short because i need not to dictate everything right however i am providing a material i need not to dictate the navigation path this is a navigation this i can provide this material i can by looking at this documentation i can directly do the configuration how much time it will save for me right why uh, why i am asking any questions if i skip that also at least 15 minutes in our one hour that will be i can save it right in 15 minutes i can go to another topic why am why i am dictating and why i am showing in sap simultaneously first i'll dictate right and simultaneously i'll show in sap slowly each and every step why because even you will start comparison between this navigation along with your sap so at least you will analyze something i can say that okay same as above same as above spro is sap menu is there in each and every step i can say it's a same as above i can directly without navigation in sap i can go directly with the transaction code so that i can save time clear but without analysis without analysis it is not possible again if you are doing for one time don't say we are practicing it if you are doing 20 times and every step you remember then say that you are practicing and what is another request of, now i i'm i won't mostly i won't take breaks but whatever breaks we had earlier whatever breaks we had earlier if you would have utilized it then it would be very much fruitful we will be parallelly means same level of knowledge we would have have, have till now means if someone is asking you why this step not what is this step why this particular step we are doing then you will be in a position to explain them if you would have done at least 20 times practice if you would have utilized that particular time the break time whatever gap time one time two times don't ever say that we are practicing it i am telling you in my practice i didn't took anywhere course again i am reiterating i didn't took anywhere course i'm clear but according to my experience i have created almost all 100 to 150 companies in my practice 150 into 3 company codes in the real time whatever scenarios was there the same thing i have practiced complete one year to one and a half year i have practiced so due to that i remember everything even though not everything i can say at least 60% so one time you are practicing and we said that i am practicing it in the sense have you remember all the steps did you able to remember every step so that's the reason i'll make it very 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 clear don't rush me to complete the things if you are rush me to complete the things then it's well it's well and good for me because i am losing the see you can see only two people are there i need to spend one hour time so how much revenue i am losing how much revenue i am losing if i would have 15 to 20 people in this time i can do it that i can see normally what as other people will do it's immaterial at the time of joining only we will say in the previous batches i used to say see you should be more flexible for one module you need to attend in this particular time in other module you need to attend other time you need to attend if you are not attending in other time then it's your problem it's not my problem i want to complete i'll complete it i'll complete it at any point of time i'll complete it you are not attending majority people in your session session you can see that how initially how many people were there if people are getting dropped because of my breaks in the sense it's a immaterial for me because there is a reason if i am giving a break sometimes my personal reason sometimes because dedicatedly you are giving this one hour time for class right however by hook or crook whatever your private commitments you will skip this 
because of this one hour class. So if I'm not taking that one hour class in the sense, then dedicatedly you can give this one hour for your practice. And other time you are employees, you have a lot of commitments on the weekend. You can't practice on the daily after this class. You may be busy with your activities. You will have your offices and all. So whenever we don't have a time, then dedicatedly, why don't you practice? Trust me, we have a batch at 8 o'clock in the evening, 8.45 in the evening. They have completed their controlling model. I don't give them any recording. Even I don't uh, record the sessions also for that particular batch. I won't record the session. I won't uh, give the recording because however, I won't record the session for that particular batch. That's an old batch. Clear? We are almost all advanced controlling. Advanced controlling, we are going, we have completed almost. Okay. So they took, they took wantonly, they asked 20 days break. I have not given any break for them. They asked break because they understood if they don't practice, definitely nothing is going to get. 20 days they took break from, uh, break from since yesterday. Their class starts from 8.45 to 9.15. That is completely US batch. 27 people are there in that particular batch. All our majority are consultants in that particular, uh, this one group. Because why, why they are coming back to us in the sense, we will cover uh, along with the accounting concept. What happens in the background will come. See, accruals, they know that. But what exactly accruals happens in our statement of uh, this one? Because the majority of people in other batches also, they will rush. They'll ask only one thing. They won't ask questions related to subject. But they will ask only to rush to complete ASAP. Not only you people in all the batches, but only that evening, late evening batch, they never ever ask to complete the things. Because I have given same breaks, whatever breaks I have given to other batches, same breaks I have given to you and same breaks I have given to that late evening batches also. But what is the thing is whenever we, because even those people are also employed, I said majority are consultants. So whatever dedicated time they have given to me, okay, they'll spend it for their practice. What people think is first you come, what the other batch people says is first you complete, first you complete. And after that, we will start practice. Trust me, it's not going to be not going to happen at any point of time. If I complete, then automatically you will be out of the track. You will be out of the track. Okay. Even though you started practicing it, if you get any questions after completion of the topics from my end, if you get any questions, so probably if you come back with that question, so I may not give you the answers on, on time. On time, because I'll be busy with my activities, my batches, my these things. So definitely you will be out of the track. If you are parallelly working, you are parallelly practicing along with me. If you get any sort of queries, any sort of queries, definitely I can, I can stop that particular day and I can explain your queries. You just think about yourself from starting day one, day one, how many people you are only two right now, but still how many people are asked to lo lo not logic conceptual questions in this particular batch after dictating. If I ask any questions, people will say no. Why? No, only for this particular part, they don't have any questions. Whenever I ask any background history, like you can see that accrual and deference. So this is a background. People won't ask it. So even if I want, I can skip this because see, uh, the complete class has been killed because of this concept. I can, I would have completed this uh, accrual and deferral and we can enter into cross company code. And we would have finished. We have started bank interest year and activity or period and activity. Again and again, I'm reiterating the completion of topic is my headache. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. I won't skip any point. Single point also, I won't skip. And trust me, I have added one more topic because recently SAP came. We know that our course is SAP FICO, right? As I said that we are going to cover, we are going to cover. We are going to cover F on ECC and as I said that on HANA also. Correct, which is separate modules. 
separate versions but still i am ready to cover this particular thing that is the one and as i mentioned also we are going to cover we are going to cover manual accounting academic academic accounting of fa financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting which is not related to our subject in outside if you ask people that whether they are they'll say that follow youtube or take separate classes for this financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting right this is my core portion this is my core portion this is our subject actually this is my core portion to cover actually so this this is the additional thing which we are doing this is the additional thing we are doing and as i said that even though we have a base module of fico as i said that 20 to 25% i am going to cover material management i am going to cover sd sales and distribution i am going to cover production and planning so this module i committed that i am going to give but recently sap came up with two additional modules which we are going to integrate in our real time with fico module right if i want to skip i want to rush the things then i wouldn't cover this particular thing the additional module that is am asset management module i have introduced i have uh, in, in uh, introduced this particular module in our course and one more module ewm module extended warehouse ma management module why i have introduced these two modules in the sense asset management however in our fico we are going to do asset accounting in depth classical asset accounting and modern account asset accounting we are completing it right if you know asset accounting completely then asset management whatever module is there 80% of asset accounting concepts will be there in asset management only how much is additional we have 20% only 20% so that additional 20% we are going to cover in this additional manual so in your resume you can mention that i know i am well versed with fico well versed with m a m module and e w m module and we have a knowledge on m m s d p p these are separate courses people will charge 20000 or 30000 for each course and whatever we are going to cover they will cover only that much only clear these are absolutely new modules these two modules are absolutely new so see again i am telling you thousands of people are coming as an consultants how your resume to be picked how your resume see okay you are not no one is attending in naukri thousands of people will apply in linkedin thousands of people resumes will be there on related to fico so how your resume need to be attractive more attractive than other resumes so if people are working as an fico learn they will mention only fico fields that's it but they won't mention these modules so this is the difference between why my students are getting hired clear out of only with the 50% topics majority are hired at as of now majority are hired why because we are covering these modules too after f5 we are going to cover these modules mm sd pp and am because it's not relevant to your controlling module after f5 module we are going to do integrations with all so you can mention everything in your resume automatically you are not only fico consultant if the opportunity comes you will work as an mm you will work as an sd pp am and ewm consultant so that is the thing again i am reiterating uh, right without practice nothing is possible nothing is possible one time two time it's not sufficient because it's a big 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 ocean right at the day when i made it very clear practice 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 so please trust on your practice and don't say that one time two times you did the data entry work and don't say that i have practiced i have completed the complete configuration no it's not correct without having a recording session without having a notes without having any sort of support if you are able to do end to end then you are doing practice hope you got my point yes no that, that is the intention don't take me wrong clear again again i am reiterating whenever don't rush me to complete the topics 
if timeline again i'm telling you probably it may take two months or if i complete in on time also if you don't have a knowledge on that what is the fun in completion right if i see about the financial aspect you can see two people these many months i have completed only for two to three people clear and other two people are also not joining at all clear what is the benefit i'm going to get it i can complete only two people are there i can complete it however you won't ask any questions in the classroom so it's more advantage for me if i miss something also people won't know about it you don't know because you are guided to complete the things but you are not guided to understand the things there is a difference but why still i am insisting you won't ask but still i am asking the questions and i am giving the solutions why because you are not thinking in that way because it happens again i'm telling you it's not your fault we tentatively we won't think in that way how consultant thinks but still we need to guide ourselves that's the reason i'm asking you 20 25 times practice if you do more than 10 15 times then definitely you will raise these concerns you will raise this concerns why i am posting every entry why i'll simulate it before posting why i'll read the entry debit this credit this why i am going to show you uh, what we call uh, gl accounts in every posting because you will analyze something from that because however it is a sap gl module only sap will generate a report but what is the analysis we need to do from that is that clear so what my expectation don't take me wrong with this particular uh, this thing so i'm not going to share this recording because this recording is having a complete gap okay uh, but my request humble request both of you that at least you can utilize because you are spending early morning hours so at least utilize it whenever again 20 to 25 times practice then only say that we are practicing it or else no if you know everything end to end then definitely see whatever breaks we got if you would have practiced practiced in the same 20 25 times if you would have practiced then automatically you will be in a position to explain someone why and what definitely that i can challenge you you can explain after 25th time of your practice or 50th that's the reason i said 100 to 150 times i have practiced after that only i have designed this particular course or else clubbing in the sense see i can get any manual any post mortem material i can give it to you people i can do configuration from that only so i can finish in that 3 months to 6 months what people want exactly i'll say 9 months but it is getting extended i know it's too long but even though it's too long but if it is fruitful then it will not be a problem if i'm completing everything in 6 months without any breaks and you don't have anything after completion of the course you don't know anything and you are keeping your notebook and you are practicing it you are doing a data entry job someone will, they will ask you configuration how to do configuration you will say the steps because you have done the practice but if they ask something why this particular step is required i said one question right why trial balance is required in between in your accounting cycle it's not mandatory but why still we are doing a trial balance in the same way they may ask you why this particular configuration is there any way to do deviate this configuration that particular point you will get only at the time of practice so i would have told you that practice in the sense one or two times you do it that is enough i can say but i am not saying that need to practice any number of times not lesser than 25 times not less than 25 times if you have a time that much in the initial day i told you if you don't have that much time don't practice it don't join the course majority people will drop in the middle i don't mind because it's not my fault or their fault okay they are not dedicated if you are dedicated do it do it in the sense not only attending the classes you need to give a time by hook or crook this coming 9 months no other navigations practice 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 that is the only mantra i made it very clear practice practice without practice nothing going to gain it 
and you need to feel happy that if you are giving a breaks then you can utilize that break time for your practice what is the fun we are continuing and you are not looking back once we complete definitely i am telling you trust me trust me if you are if i complete it and you start practicing after completion or you have along with me have started practicing one or two times that is not sufficient after third after third practice after completion of my course you have started your third or fourth or fifth time practice then at that particular point of time you got some questions then you are trying to uh, reach me then probably i may not available see not wantedly i am not available because i have my own activities right i may not give you the time because dedicatedly one hour time i am giving you right now normally i won't even attend the calls also seriously speaking not wantedly again because back to work calls and meetings and even saturday sundays also i have back to back classes so that is the only thing but or else i will i will not intentionally i won't attend the calls or something like that so that's the reason whatever queries you have you can utilize the coming 9 months or 10 months if it is extended then it will, you need to feel happy again i'm telling you you are perfect in fi module end to end with the logic with the subject then definitely you will crack within five to whatever when we finish our fi and the part day one i made it i said that okay we we are going to complete fi module in 6 months correct but but if it is extended also if you have practiced in the same level of knowledge then definitely you can crack at this particular point also people who have got cracked after completion of ap and ar after completion of ap and ar they have cracked the interviews because same they don't have any other allegation only practice after office before office okay i'm not going to share this particular recording today because nothing is there in the subject and tomorrow we will finish this but kindly check this particular steps what is accrued incomes what is unaccrued incomes what is prepaid expenditure outstanding expenditure because this is very important to understand it is only a 3 minutes or 4 minute session but the background there is a lot is that clear yes sir okay thanks a lot and don't take me wrong please i hope you got my point yes yeah thank you